Hello and a very warm welcome to this short video which will give you some key information about life at Harris Academy Beckenham. My name is Mrs Castro Martin and I'm the assistant principal who oversees transition. That means that one of my main responsibilities is making sure that our year sixes who are currently at primary school, um, their journey to secondary school is as smooth as possible and one that even though we might have some nerves about it, we're so excited about it. And we make sure that none of you have any questions that are unanswered. And we hope that the process of, of having these little short videos and also our Q&A sessions will help put your mind at rest and answer any questions that you may have. So I'm going to start off by uh, sharing um, some information with you. So bear in mind with me whilst I just share some key information. I have found it. Lovely. OK, so I'm going to start off by talking about some key dates for you. Um, so the first of all is your first day at secondary school will be Friday the 3rd of September. We will put the starting time on the website for you, but it's very likely that it will only be year seven and perhaps year 12 who will come in on that day. And that day will be spent helping you get familiar with our school um, and getting to know your tutors, getting to know your timetable. And it's a day purely for you um, to become more familiar with school. So that'll be the Friday, the 3rd of September. Um, we've also got two other dates. We have Monday, the 5th of July, which will be a Q&A session for parents, carers and students. That will be between 6 and 6.30. We will send out a link in advance to parents um, for you to attend. And then we also have the 6th of July, which is another Q&A session. It's online. It'll be the same time. Obviously, you're welcome to attend the 5th of July, but that one is specifically for the 6th of, uh, for, pair, for students on the 6th of July. In case any more questions, we'll be there to answer questions for you students. Right. So first of all, what's the timetable like at Harris Academy Beckon and what time do you start? So you start with us at 8.25 in the morning and you will start your morning with tutor time. You can see that all on the left hand side. And then you have four lessons in the day. You have lesson one and two, which are back to back. Then you have a break. Then you have lesson three. Then you have lunch and then you have lesson four. So you have four lessons a day plus tutor time and each lesson is 80 minutes long. And then you'll spot that on a Friday we do finish slightly earlier. You only have three lessons on a Friday and you will finish at 10 to 2 on a Friday which students seem to like for some reason. So let's talk a little bit about the um, pastoral and leadership structure. So I talked a little bit about tutor time. Your pastoral well-being is very important to us. So as well as obviously your academics, we're also looking at your well-being um, and how you're getting on at school day to day. So you have got three members of staff who will support your transition and you will also have a tutor who you will see daily. So you have Mrs Goulds, who is my fellow um, assistant principal. She will be working with Year 7. You have Mr Schoen, who is our Raising Standards leader. And you also have Mr Walla, who is our pastoral leader, whose job is to make sure that you're happy and you feel safe at school, so you're in a good position to be learning. So I mentioned your tutor. What does the tutor do? So if you remember, you have got tutor time every single morning. So your tutor is there to give you advice, the tutor is there to give support, they're your kind of number one go to when you come to secondary school. They'll also be monitoring and making sure that your conduct is suitable in lessons and of the highest standard. They're also someone who does the reading with you, more on that in a minute. And someone as well who encourages you with your attendance and rewards you and makes sure that you, you're doing well with your attendance because attendance to us is very important. If you're not here, you're not learning. So your tutor will be keeping an eye on your attendance. And then finally, your tutor will be delivering what we call Wellbeing Wednesdays 
funny enough, take place on Wednesdays, and that is our PSHE sessions. So a whole array of different topics that you will address with your tutor on Wednesday mornings. So that's a bit of an insight to your tutor. But they're there at the beginning of the day to make sure you're in the right frame of mind to go on to have a successful day in your learning. So I talked a little bit about reading. Now we have what's called the Big Read at Harris Academy Beckenham, which means two or three times a week, you will, as a class, read one novel together. And you actually your teacher will be reading it to you and you'll be following along, you'll have your own copy. And we've got a whole variety of texts that you have got. Um, and we use what's called the before, during and after reading approach. And because we want you to become confident, independent readers and confident readers are the type of readers who do certain things before reading a text, certain things during a text and certain things after reading a text. So we explicitly practice those things whilst also enjoying this pure excitement and the pure kind of escapism of escaping into a book a couple of times, three times a week. So here are some of the texts that our current year sevens and our year eights are currently reading as a class and thoroughly enjoying. So that's something that's very, very important to us um, because reading sits at the heart of the curriculum. So it's very important that we're confident with our reading. So we also have um, your tutor will be checking your planner and your equipment. So here's a list of certain things that you will be given. Um, well, you will be given. You will expect to have with you. Forgive me. You will be given a student planner. So a student planner is a document that is organised week by week. It's a bit like a diary. There's a double page spread for each week with a space for each day, and your teacher can write notes in there, but also your parent can write notes. It's an essential item and you must always carry it to take care of it. You can record your homework tasks in it. You can record awards. You can maintain an attendance reward. Um, you can record um, extracurricular activities you're attending. The planner is very important to helping you stay organised. We also expect you to be very organised with having your equipment with you, which is listed on the board. So a, shop to, a trip to the stationery during the summer holidays and top up your stationery so you're well equipped for your learning. So to touch base on your blazer. So we have a uniform that we're very proud of and we make sure that you've got a loyalty to your community by taking proud pride in your appearance. And we expect you to wear your academy uniform to and from the academy. So you can see here that we've got a blazer. You have an optional pullover. So the blazer is compulsory, but the pullover is optional. You have a skirt for those who'd like to wear a skirt, which is navy, black and gold pleated, available from whereabouts in Sydenham. We also have navy blue trousers, um, a plain white shirt, which is fastened at the neck. Um, your tie, depending on what your faculty will be, we will let you know in July what colour your faculty will, tie will be. Um, and then plain socks or tights, plain black leather, or conventional school shoes. That means no patent, no boots um, for your shoes. And then also a plain black coat with no visible logos or maybe dark navy blue. So that's a bit of an oversight in terms of our uniform. And um, there's no jewellery apart from you can wear plain studs in your ears. That's plain silver or gold. So if you are looking to get some ear piercings over the summer holidays, Please feel free to do so. However, they need to be plain studs. So no diamante, no sparkliness, just plain silver or gold studs at the bottom of the lobe. And then also you can wear a watch. OK, so that's a bit of information about our uniform. Um, classroom expectations. Um, there's two key elements in terms of our classroom expectations. So the first thing is about being responsible for our actions and the other element is being respectful of others. If you were to boil down these two things, they're the two underpinning ideas about how we make sure that our classrooms are respectful and disruption free because we have high expectations of all our students. And we want them to be in a situation whereby they can achieve their very best. Building relationships for our, with our students is a key priority for staff. And we do use strategies to ensure students are supported in the classroom. Simultaneously, we have got expectations in terms of our students because they have got the right to learn in a disruptive free environment and our learning expectations support this. So 
we make sure that our students are ready for learning. So whilst you have the right to learn in a disruptive free environment, you have the responsibility to be ready for your learning. You also need to be responsible for your actions and you need to be respectful of others. So when I'm talking about ready for learning, I'm talking about your home learning, making sure that you've completed your home learning, your homework, you are punctual, you are wearing the correct uniform, and also you are have got your equipment with you and you've got your books with you for that learning. So you need to be ready for your learning and that all those things encapsulate that. In terms of being responsible for your actions, is to do with your conduct and the culture. So that means about you meeting our lesson expectations, but also there's the rewards that we have in place for you. There is the community that you're part of. And it's also the character that you are developing, because, yes, we're talking about learning, but also being respectful of others plays a part in our greater character as a human being. So being respectful of others is something that is very important to us at the academy. So in terms of rewards and praise, our students are praised at every opportunity and we publicly success and celebrate our success at the academy. Every lesson, at least one student receives a postcard home, which they can take home and you can take home and show your mum, your dad, your grandparents, whoever's at home, um, how well you are doing at school. And I'm sure they're going to look forward to receiving those postcards. As well as every lesson we have every week, we have a reward league, which we share at our virtual assembly each Friday. And the top performing student in every year group receives a £10 Amazon voucher. We also have the principal's breakfast, which we have every month. And also each term, students will be invited to a cinema trip or they may receive a certificate at the end of the term celebration assembly. And then at the end of the year, the top 30 students across the academy will attend the Thorpe Park 30 trip. So we have lots of events to celebrate those students who are being respectful, who are being ready for their learning and who are being responsible learners. So I'm going to move on to um, information about parent pay and lunches. So parent pay is the system whereby we student, parents pay for their students lunches. So um, it's cashless in terms of um, a system. And so you will be sent a link in terms of how to register for parent pay. And at home, you can top up the money and how, how much money you want to give them each week or each month, however you choose to do it. Um, and you can also see what your child is spending their money on. So information about parent pay will come out to you. If um, free school meals is something that you feel you may well be entitled to, please do visit free school meals of the website because it has information about how to apply for that, how to find out whether or not you um, do, do qualify for that. And we do have information on our website as well about that under the transition um, section. And there's a little drop down there which talks about free school meals. So please do visit that if you'd like further information about that. I also get lots of questions when I visit uh, primary schools about what the food is like. So obviously you have break time whereby you can buy some food, but we also have lunch time. Um, we have got a um, main dish that's on offer. There's always a vegetarian um, and an alternative that's there for you. But we always have uh, jacket potatoes, pizza and pasta. Um, pasta and jacket potatoes are always an option and with pizza occasionally being there. And we also have a, a um, another section of the canteen whereby you can buy um, like uh, sub sandwiches or paninis um, or your normal sandwiches or cold pasta. So there's depending on what you'd like, there's quite an array of choice for you. And it does change, kind of goes around on a three weekly cycle. But if you want to have a look at a typical menu, you can visit our website and our people that we work with are Chartwells. Right. Moving forward on to enrichment opportunities. Um, so our enrichment programme is essential for our students' spiritual, moral, social and cultural development. We do see it as something that is co-curricular, something that's very important that we offer to our young person. Hence why we offer a varied and engaging programme of clubs and activities, because we want to challenge our students and inspire them, get them to find some new interests um, and develop outside of the academic um, area. So we do have an enrichment fair at the start of each term and that gives students the opportunity to sign up 
and meet with the teachers running each club. So you're probably going to have that the second or third week of September. You can go along to the hall, into the sports hall, and there'll be lots of different tables, lots of different displays, and you can sign up for the club that you want to sign up for. We do also record your attendance and we do reward for exceptional commitments. And also, if you're going to be attending lunchtime clubs, we do give you a queue pass as well if needed. So we also have different types of enrichment. As you can see on the right hand side, we have sport enrichment. Um, sometimes that's for everyone. Sometimes that's targeted for squad players only. We have everyday enrichment, which is open to all students. We have enrichment plus, so you may well be targeted to attend that sort of um, enrichment um, or also by the end of it, you may well um, gain a qualification. And we also have wellbeing clubs that specifically in benefit the students' health and wellbeing. We do also offer um, some clubs, we invite outside people to come and run clubs and then there will be a small cost attached to that. So for example, archery, or fencing. Um, so if we are running those next year, which we hope to be doing, we will let you know in advance. So if you would like to put your names down um, and pay that small amount of money for that specialist coming in, then you can do so. There's also, um, we have peripatetic music tuition. So this is when we also make sure that we are providing um, an opportunity for our students to play a musical instrument and have that enrichment opportunity. So we work with um, specialist uh, tutors from BYMT, which is Bromley Youth Music Trust, who deliver either one-to-one -one or paired music lessons that take place during the school day. They can be 15 or 30 minutes long, um, and they've got a whole wide variety of different instruments that they provide. So we've got violin, double bass, clarinet, trumpet, per percussion, piano, guitar, ukulele, singing. So if something you're currently doing at primary school and you want to continue, then of course you can at secondary school. But also if it's, you haven't yet take, picked up an, an instrument um, and you're interested in doing so, please do get in touch with Mr Bailey, who is the coordinator of performing arts. And his address is j.bailey at harrisbeckenham.org.uk. OK, so there is a small cost to this because like the other clubs, they are outside. But if you'd like information, please do get in contact um, to, to find out more information. Right, uh, bushcraft. So talking about enrichment opportunities. On the 5th and 6th of October 2021, we will be taking as many Year 7s as possible to Penshurst Place, Kent, which is an outdoor educational trip and enable you guys to make new friends, develop teamwork skills and build a sense of community um, with one another. Um, you also get to stay overnight in a safari style tented camp and there's lots of outdoor and adventurous activities. So we have already emailed out um, a form to gauge in, um, interest. But if you haven't confirmed yet that you would like to attend, please do email Mr. Schoen, the Raising Standards Leader, who I talked about at the beginning of this presentation, um, to, to demonstrate that you are interested in participating for what I know will be a very interesting and fun um, time had by all. OK, the last couple of things from me. So. First of all, in terms of summer holidays, I know that quite a few of you will be attending our summer experience, which is taking place Monday the 9th of August to Friday the 13th of August. Uh, sign up is, is now closed and an information pack will come out very soon for you. Um, that will be taking place between 9 um, until 2 p.m. each day. And you can see here, a bit like the school day, you're going to have four lessons. A little bit shorter than normal because normally our lessons are 80 minutes, but these lessons will be 60 minutes. And you've also got an array of different subjects, English, drama, science, food tech, PE and DT. But like I said, information pack will come out soon for those of you who have confirmed your interest. And last but not least, the summer holidays. So obviously, um, we will be putting some information on the website in terms of the transition. We would have loved to have had you on site on the 6th of July, but due to the current context and the priority is keeping everyone safe, which is why we're no longer doing an induction day on site on the 6th of July. But instead of that, we are going to upload some videos for you in terms of some different lessons and also some advice from different students. 
Um, and I, like I said, we do have our two Q and A's. We've got them one for parents and carers and students on Monday, the 5th of July at 6 p.m. And then one as well for students specifically um, on the Tuesday at 6 p.m. We'll send out links to you so you do have them in advance. But also just to keep you busy during the summer holidays, we will also be sending you home a couple of packs. So one pack will be to do with your literacy and we're not expecting you to do huge amounts over the holidays. We want you to relax. We want you to have fun. We want you to see your friends. We want you to see your family. But also we want you to make sure that you're keeping on top of that learning that you have been acquiring um, whilst at primary school. And six weeks is a long time if you don't revisit some skills and key knowledge that you've been learning about. So we'll give you a um, we'll give you a literacy booklet for you to be looking at so kind of a little task per week per week and the same for numeracy. Just one task per week just to keep your knowledge ticking over. We will also give you some suggestions about what you can do um, to have new experiences. So we're going to make some suggestions about places to visit in London, places to go, things to read and also things to watch. Um, because experiencing new things is always going to be something that's beneficial for us. And this is a lovely quotation here about learning beyond the classroom. We have a mind that is stretched by new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. So that's where I'll be going to be sending you home that booklet as well. So look forward to them reaching you in July at some point before we break up. OK, that was a whistle stop tour of some key information for you. Um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for one second. There we are, I think I'm back now. So yes, a whistle stop tour for you. I hope that it's given you some key information. However, we will also have our two Q and A's, one for parents, students and carers on the 5th, and then also specifically for students on the 6th of July at 6 p.m., both of them at 6 p.m. But we also are putting together a booklet. So for those of you who'd like to read through, flick through back and forth some key information, then that will also be reaching you in July. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video and if you have any further questions I look forward to seeing you on the 5th of July at 6pm in our Q&A session online. All the very best to you, take care.